Hey gang, well, uh, if you're wondering where am I at and why am I doing down here or something like that, uh, I'm actually here at the uh, Boonville Post Office, and there's a reason why I wanted to tell a story from inside this place. One, it's hot outside, it's a little cooler in here, and secondly, well, part of the story kind of starts at the post office, so let's get into it real quick. There's another one of my weekend trips to Fort Smith years ago, and um, and I'm hanging out at Steve's house. Steve and his wife at the time were hanging out in their room. Uh, Reno and his girlfriend, Stephanie, uh, they were hanging out in his room. So I'm sitting in the front room, bored out of my skull. Nothing to do, nobody to talk to, and I'm practically, literally... Uh, twiddling my thumbs. Steve walks in the front room and he goes, want to go walking up and down the road with me? I'm like, yeah. So, <laughs> so what happened was we're just, we, we walked down a couple of blocks to the post office. And the post office in Fort Smith, I'm telling you gang, it is surrounded by this chain link fence. Looks like it's a prison yard. Okay. It's kind of insane. So we go down there, and of course Steve has to have a cigarette, so we sit by the chain link fence, and we're just sitting there BSing and just joking with each other, having a good time. And we see a cop car drive by, and we're like, no big deal. We see another one drive by, could have been the same one, not 100% sure. And Steve's like, we better get back to the house, you don't have your ID, let's get back before anything happens. I'm like, alright, cool deal. So we, we start heading back to his house, and we are about eye length. We're within eyesight of his house. We could just see it. And a cop drives up right behind us. Now, one thing I've learned in life is that if you don't want to look suspicious to a cop, if he's following you, whether you're in a car, on a bicycle, walking, don't look behind you because that put suspicion in their minds, and they'll sit there and kind of go like, okay, something's going on with this dude. And so Steve and I were walking, and we're not paying attention. We're, we're just looking forward, and all of a sudden, the blue lights start flashing. We're like, crap. <laughs> so cop gets out. He's pretty friendly towards both of us, you know. I mean, most Fort Smith cops are jerkheads, but, you know, this one was pretty nice towards us. Probably a new guy. Uh, <laughs> so he gets Steve's ID and all this other stuff. He asked me for mine, and I explained him what happened. And I, I, I said, look, man, I've been trying to get my social security card and ID and all this stuff for years. And I gave him the whole 9-11 thing and told him everything that happened. He kind of understood. And, and as it always seems to be, a backup car pulls up. And I'm thinking, like, seriously? I'm like... Dude, we're not carrying bazookas. Relax. <laughs> and out pops this one cop who's driving the car. Average size cop. And out of the passenger side pops another cop who looked like it was a plainclothes cop, but he was probably about five foot nothing. Okay. Gang, I'm telling you, I just looked down at this guy and I started thinking about the munchkins from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and this guy is just berating me for not having an ID and all this other stuff. And I explained him like I explained to the one cop. And, of course, they go do a background check on Steve and I. And it's like, you guys are okay. You guys are cool. You know, got no warrants for your arrest, nothing like that. And I said, yeah. I said, I'm just up here for about another day, and I'm heading back to Boonville, and asked for my address, gave my address, all this other stuff. I was like, okay. You know, apparently contacted the police here in Boonville, and they told him, like, oh, don't worry about him. He's cool. Don't worry about it. So then Officer Boo Boo starts telling me, <laughs> uh, you know, all of a sudden Officer Boo Boo's being friendly towards me, and he's looking up at me, and and I'm sitting, there, I'm sitting there thinking, like, get a step letter so you can talk to me, you know, look me in the eyes. 
so then, you know, he starts talking to me and he, and he, and, you know, he apologized like, look, man, I'm sorry. I gave you such a hard time and all this other stuff. And, and he goes, and I, you know, I said, no, don't worry about it. And he goes, uh, he goes, listen, man, get yourself an ID. He says, because, you know, says, God forbid something happens to you. If you've got your ID on you, we can run a background check on you. We can contact the nearest person that we can contact and tell them what happened to you. And, and they can take care of the rest. And I said, yeah, I, I definitely need to get one. I said, I'm, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. He says, I understand. He goes, he goes, and, you know, if you ever want to go to a strip club. And right then and there, I probably said something that, well, it was, it was extremely honest. And one thing I've always been told also, besides the whole don't look behind you when there's a cop behind you, is that always be honest with a cop and they'll always, you know, be good towards you. And I said, well, actually, I've never been to a strip club. Officer Boo Boo and the rest of the cops that were there started laughing. In fact, they were bending over laughing so hard at me. And I felt humiliated. I felt like I just wanted to crawl into a hole and die. And they just said, said, go on, guys, go on, get out of here. And Steve and I start walking up the road, and we can still hear him laughing. And I'm humiliated. I'm just, I'm just feeling really bad. Steve's trying to cheer me up. It's not doing any good. We get back to the house. Reno comes out of his room. He goes, why have you guys gone so long? We told him what happened. We told him about the short cop. And that's when Reno started putting on this barrage of short jokes and started telling him, you know, start, you know, telling me stuff to try and cheer me up. He, he said stuff like, um, uh, he said, well, you know, I was like, well, it's obvious that that short cop's probably never been to a strip club either because I think most strip clubs are, have a height requirement. And I started laughing a little bit. And, and he and Steve start just, just berating these, these, you know, short cop jokes and everything like that. And one of them, one of them said something that really made me laugh. He said, you know, he said, yeah, I imagine if he has to go and sit by the stage, he has to sit on a stack, a stack of phone books. And that made me laugh. And so Sierra, Steve's wife at the time, and Stephanie comes out, they ask what happened and they're putting on the jokes and everything like that. And, and I went to sleep later that night feeling a whole lot better. And, and the thing is, you know, a lot of people I've told this story to, uh, the crazy thing is, is that, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of the guys I tell the story to, they always seem to tell me the same thing. You're not missing much. <laughs> you know, they'll, they'll sit there and say, dude, it's just, you go in there, you spend a lot of money and it's like, if you keep going in there, you're going to keep seeing the same thing and you're going to get bored after a while. So I'm like, I'm like, and I told him, and I keep telling him every time, I was like, you know, I've never really had any interest in going to a strip club anyway. So there you guys go. I don't know whatever happened to Officer Shorty or anything like that, but, uh, but one thing's for sure, there are more Fort Smith stories coming, including one I'm going to try to say for last that um, quite honestly... It ended, well, the, the end of it ended uh, like a few years later, but um, it started off nice, and it ended pretty bad. So I'm going to do that one for you guys real, real soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stories, and uh, I got more coming. So take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to share a similar story in the comments below or in a video, let me know. I'll check it out. And of course, I'll try to respond as best I can. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. And I'll see you guys next time. And I uh, hope you guys staying cool in this heat. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, stay strong and rock on.